Hey there guys, what's going on? On today's video, I wanna show you a really cool trick that you can use to remove the carrier lock from any device. On this occasion, I bring you this very old Motorola device. I don't even know what model this is, but I'm gonna show you how you can unlock it. But first, I wanna show you that this device is indeed locked. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the back over here. Well, you can tell it's pretty old. Anyway, I'm gonna enter just one random SIM card that I just bought off the street. So I'm gonna simply enter it and we're gonna see if it's working or not. So let's test it out. So let's go ahead and do the test. Well, so far it's not doing anything, but this is not enough proof. So let's wait a few seconds to see if something happens to it. But so far, nothing. Sure, let's say yes and see if it works. Nope, it's not working at all. And as you can see, it has the SIM card over here. There's an icon, it shows that we have an issue on it. Anyway, we're gonna go to safeunlocks.com, then we're gonna go over to services, then the first one, carry unlock, and we need to enter some really basic information. So we're gonna start with our name, then a valid email. Afterwards, I want to select the device model. We have iPhone, Samsung, there is absolutely everything. Let's find mine. Okay, Motorola, it's over here. And I have to enter an IMEI number. So how do I do that? Simply go to your dial over here and do the following. Star, hashtag, zero six, and well, hashtag or pound, whatever you want to call it. And over here, we have the IMEI number. So we're gonna enter it on the form. Let's go ahead and do that, guys. Okay, I got everything, confirm all the information, set the terms and condition, and press on the proceed button. Hey guys, at this point of the process, it's gonna be really straightforward. So all you have to do is to obtain this ID over here. There is a full tutorial down below where you can see or you can watch everything that you need to know about this process. It doesn't take longer than five minutes. So I'm not gonna show you this part of the process, otherwise it will be too long. So make sure to watch the tutorial, follow every step, and I'll see you again once I'm done with mine. Okay guys, I just finished doing it and all I have to do is to go into my inbox. So I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna wait for the ID. So we're gonna wait for that. Great, activation ID ready. We're gonna open this email. Hey there, Nick. We have received and confirmed your activation ID. Keep in mind this ID can only be used for the device you have selected. Well, that's perfect. So all I have to do is to copy this code. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to the order and I'm gonna paste it over here. So if you can, as you can see, it says start order. I'm gonna press it. It says your order is now in progress. And all you have to do at this point is to wait for a few minutes. Uh, go back to your inbox and you will receive a confirmation confirming that your device is now free from the carrier. So we're gonna wait for that confirmation. All right, Motorola device unlocked from carrier. So let's open this email. Hey Nick, great news, your Motorola device was unlocked from the carrier, enjoy all the benefit that comes with it. Thank you for your support, SU team. So this is great news, but uh, we're gonna take the same device that we just used before, this old Motorola device. So we're gonna turn it on. <laughs> it's so old, you have to enter the SIM card on the back. Anyway, I'm gonna enter the SIM card over here and then we're gonna wait if something happens. So let's wait. Uh, it's picking up some signal, that's good news. Let's wait if the 4G is activated. So let's wait for that. It shouldn't take long. And as you can see, everything is working. It's asking me to sign up to the network. It's completely normal. It's a prepaid uh, SIM card. This is great. After having this device lock for so long, I can now use it again. And it's all thanks to safeunlocks.com. If you guys wanna try it, just go ahead 
can type on your browser safeunlocks.com, follow the steps that I just showed you before, and you'll be able to use it once again. So I'll see you again on the next video, and I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you. See you.